Well, welcome back. It's definitely getting hot and humid out here. <sighs> Trying to mess with this thing. Got the battery in it. Still wasn't working. Checked all my connections. Everything's good. Got power all the way to the controller. And then one time it jumped and I saw a scary spark from back there. So, unfortunately... This thing's going under the knife right now, and it might not come out alive. Because, because it has one of the most common problems with one of these old golf carts that will take it out in an instant. It's right there. Those guys. Look at that bottom one. All rusty. Well, I think the spark came from that connection on the left. No bueno. The problem with that connection is if that if that nut doesn't come off and that stud breaks, you basically gotta either replace the motor, replace the stud, take the motor apart, resolder a new stud onto this motor, put this motor back in. It can be a fiasco. So keep your fingers crossed that it comes off. Well, we're definitely going to have to jack it up higher. It's not fat kid friendly. This isn't even the set. This is the back set. But they don't look too good either. But the wire ends are still connected. Oh, man. Well, I guess we'll jack this thing up higher. Get a couple jack stands under the rear. See if we can scoot our fat butt up under there. Interesting. Can you tell my enthusiasm? <sighs> I probably can't even count on both hands how many times this has killed a cart. Especially when we used to build them. We used to get all the junkers. They'd snap studs off all the damn time. <laughs> Alright, we're up a little higher. This is where we're going. Hopefully we don't get no hopefully we don't get no grease in our hair. Jeez, I probably should wipe that off. Oh my Lanta. <laughs> oh great cart god in the sky, please spare this one. Alright. I guess I'll get you guys jammed up in here somehow. See if they'll come off. I probably should only mess with the one on the left, but I don't know. I guess we'll do that one first and see if it moves again. If it moves again, we're leaving the other one. <laughs> Half job season. This thing's definitely had a rough life. This big dent in the, in the diff, like a flat spot. Shock mounts bent. Ugh. See what's going on, like right there. Maybe. Ow! Damn it! I already hit my head. A lot of sharp edges under here. All right, you guys are gonna have to listen to the fan because it's hot out here. Have a nine sixteen on the back there. Looks like. Oh. Back nut is like a. I don't know if it's actually bigger or not. Yeah, it looks like it's a 916, but it's like a rusted 916. Well, let's see what happens.
actually came off pretty easy. I'm trying to clean the threads as I come off. Get lucky. <sighs> oh. Might want to try to replace these nuts too here. That's for sure. sure that the end is bad definitely got heat cycled probably just clean it up put it back on there and see what happens I don't want to go cutting it if I don't have to uh, look at it look at it it's, uh, I guess we're going to change that whole wire all the way up to the controller that thing's pretty bad At least the nut came off. Should we mess with the other one? Man. I don't know. It's probably going to be the next one. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's my motto. Well, I guess we'll go in the hoard and see if I can find a new wire. Get some sandpaper and some wire wheel, clean this up, try to find a new nut. A new nut and a new washer. And we'll be back. I'll show you where it goes on the controller on the top side. Alright, that wire's off. Let's see which one it is. This one, okay, so it comes up right here to the forward and reverse switch. Well, I went through the hoard and found a little bit of this welding cable. This end's got a good brass hoop on it, so we'll probably smash that flat, sand it up, reuse that one. And we probably need about two and a half feet, I would say. Something like that. So, this stuff's actually thicker gauge than what's on there. I think there's eight gauge on there. This is probably four. So, really, all the wires should get upgraded. But, all right, we'll pull off two arm lengths of this. That should be plenty. We might have a little slack, but a little bit left over. I know my vice has seen better days. I got a new one right there.
I got some good heat shrink too. My heat shrink hoard. That one looks a lot better. <laughs> Got it. Damn stink bug. Really? Is that not the right one? Yeah, it is. It just won't come through the hanger. Oh well. Alright, we got the old one out. We got the new one in. I ran it back there. We're going back underneath. you guys can see what's going on. All right, we got the new wire here. I'm gonna route it with the old ones. We made it a little long, but it's all right.
definitely have to hold the jam nut anytime you're dealing with this type of situation because this bolt goes inside the motor and one of the wires that feeds the brush or the uh, the field I forget which one's which anyway it, it feeds wire through the or feeds power through the motor so it, you can't spin this stud if you spin the stud you'll snap the wire off inside the motor and that's not fun to fix it is fixable but it just adds more stuff more time more effort you know. We're like the king. What does he say? Fast, cheap, quick, and easy? Or something like that? <laughs> yeah. The fast, quick, cheap, and easy way is to buy a new truck, I guess. <laughs> Every time the old one falls apart, right? Alright, we're on there. Man, I... I know, I can hear you yelling. Just do the other one. Nah. <laughs> All right. Uh-oh. How you doing? I'm going to try to... Get a couple zip ties on here. guys want to know the number one trick to being a good mechanic number one trick learn how to work blind if you can work blind you'll be a good mechanic Once you get to the level of putting a zip tie on with one hand, now you're a master. Back to top side. Let's see if this thing works. All right, well, let's see if we fixed it. Well, there's forward. That diff sounds good, huh? That diff sounds real good. Oh, we got reverse. Might not hurt to check the oil in that rear. <laughs> I've seen some of them turning, yeah. They're starting to turn. Look, look, look. Yeah, a little, little bit of blue and some red. Look. Yeah, they've still got a lot of red on them. Oh, yeah. We might be able to pick a couple this weekend, but it ain't going to amount to much. Yeah. I, like I said, I'd like to get the signs out and get people used to stopping, but I don't think we're going to have enough. Yeah. To get them used to it. Just leave them and let them. Oh, yo, boy, we're going to have some berries. Look at that. Yeah, there's some some branches in oh here. Oh, my God. Yeah, what's that one? Yeah, that one's loaded. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, down there, I see some berries. There's definitely some coming in, but they're, the they're still a little bit of ways. Oh, yeah, we've got a way. Mm hmm. They're coming, though. Bit by bit. 
<laughs> well, you might be able to get out here a little bit, but... <laughs> yeah, well, when you get old, you get old, right? I don't want you falling, that's for sure. You're going to set the field on fire with your stogie oh, butts. Okay. <laughs> Look at this blue crop bush. Ain't, ain't a lick. Or no, this is a Berkeley, isn't it? I think this is a Berkeley by the lightness of the leaves. Well, Looks like Berkeley's it. on that first row. Right? Yeah, this one, yeah. this isn't a random Berkeley in here? Or is this a blue it crop? It doesn't look like a... I don't know what it is. Taste yeah. I think it's a Berkeley. See all the mummy berry? We did get a lot of mummy berry, though. And the frost? No, is that's that's all mummy berry, yeah. Mummy berry, because it was so wet. You know, and these are the early varieties. I thought sure the frost would go. No, we got a little bit of frost, get but, them all, but they didn't get mostly them. mummy berry, which is really not that much considering other years. Let me see if there's any uh burgers There's a bigger mummy berry. That's, that's why it's called a mummy berry. It literally looks like a mummy. Yeah, we're gonna have to drive down there. Uh huh. You see the lightness in the leaves? That's yeah. why it makes me think that one over there is Probably a Berkeley. Is. Probably is. Mm -hmm. But the berries on that other one are bigger, so maybe not. Maybe it's a blue crop. You know, they're farther along. These are Berkeley. Yep. I mean, we them. What do you want to take down there? I don't know. But you can definitely see the difference in the in the green. These are oh, way yeah. lighter. Oh my God. Have a nice <laughs> Between that and the, uh, the field, yeah. Indian corn shot up. Oh, my uh, my sprinkler fell over. I gotta go pick that up. Oh my lord, yes. You didn't check it in the lounge? No. I don't think any of the Kentucky pole beans sprouted though. Ow. where the tree was on the power line. Uh, there's some firewood here if you want to come cut it up. Dry it out. We got it off the line though. I guess that's all that matters. Alright y'all. Thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Subscribe. I guess the quota today is it's going to be real hard to change people. Looks like another mess I got to come clean up. It's back again.